Hello, and welcome back to Morrowind. We are here with Astius, and um, last time the game crashed as I tried to head towards Sadenine, so let us attempt that again. And hope the uh, game doesn't crash this time horribly. Alright, let's see. We need to travel to Sadenine. We are on our way to the Androno uh, tomb to get Andrano school. So, uh, all right, let's do a quick save because the game likes to crash apparently after fast traveling. So we're going to avoid that. And uh, now we need to head towards Pelagian. If I uh, let's see if I remember my correction or my directions correctly here. Um, Andrano and Special Tomb, just off the road, just before the fork, where the road goes southwest towards Sydney. Okay. Yep. Mm, that was interesting. <laughs> His tail just had a, uh, I'm not sure. He was wagging it there. It's pretty cool. Alright. So, I'm feeling a bit better this time now, so I think we will be able to read our, uh, on Morrowind. I don't know why I still have these. Directions to Kais. Yeah, I don't even know why we still have these, really. We'll just get rid of them. Alright. Pelagid, actually. I don't know why I thought Pelagid was, uh, closer to Balmore. It's really just around this corner up here, isn't it? My business. My mistake. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a uh, good start. Okay, then. Alright. Well. Let's hope that doesn't keep happening. Oh, my gosh. Let's, um... I think I'm going to have to reinstall this game and try to reload the mods again. It's probably what I should do. The game seems very unstable. Is it? Oh my gosh. I thought it crashed. <laughs> I, I thought it was about to crash again, I'll be honest. If it did, I was... This, this video was probably over if it did. Um, is this the place? This might be. Let's see. Uh, yep. Alright, we'll wait here. For our stamina to regenerate. And then we will head inside... Alright, full stamina. Let's head on in. Oh dear, it is very, very dark. Holy crap. Uh, what do I have torch set to? Uh, fort? Should probably get hearth heal on as well. There we go. It's not that much better. Um, so what do we got? Oh, we got a ghost. Lovely. Let's quick save before we do this. Oh, Gosada spotted us. Oh, not, not a problem, really. This torch is very loud. Like, uh, there. <laughs> Good grief, that was very loud. Um, oh, nice some gold. Now, I will be careful not to take anything from here. I know I just took gold, but that was that seems to be like a. Uh, yeah, someone who is uh, a grave robber. I won't take anything from the urns. Um, I don't want to piss off the locals, of course. We just need to find uh, the skull. That's that's it. All right, there's something clearly through this door. A lesser bone walker. Wow, I'm getting pretty good at this. Oh, don't, oh, jeez. Okay, okay, back, back, back. Okay, thinking this for uh, Magicka, right? <laughs> ah, duh, what the? Man, archers. Good grief. And he, he didn't even give me arrows, damn it. Alright, whatever. Is this, is this room leading anything? Something down there. 
But, uh, we're not going to jump. That would be a very, very bad idea. So I don't think this room leads to anywhere. So let's head, uh, down. See if I can drink a potion here. There we go. Alright. And, uh, my goodness, it is very dark. I have a glare in my room as well, so... <laughs> right now this is... I, I can hardly see in front of me. I can basically see my sword and torch, and that's about it. I can just see the outline of this wall here. Alright, there's a torch there. Let's see, what do we got here? Another door. All way down there. What do we got in here? Oh, another skeleton. Ow. Ow. Die. There we go. All right, we got some, looks like some offerings here. I'm not seeing any skill. Yeah. Um, certainly you don't have it. No. Just an iron club, which is very useless to us. Other than that, it's a blunt weapon. What we got around here? A skeleton. Ah, uh, you're blocking. Well, two can play at that game. Haha. -ha. All right. Gotta get back to these uh, hotkeys. Ow! What? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very low on health. Archers like completely destroy me. Goodness. Oh. Oh no! 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 Ah! Crap. Ah! Oh, damn it. All right, well, let's try it again. Okay, we're right into this. Ghosts are like nothing, but archers, man. They destroy me, and this horrible sound again. All right, and <laughs> again, grab his gold. So we know we don't need to go down the that way over there. Um... So, we'll go this way, initially. And if I can beat this place without dying, then uh, I'll go back. Let's see. Alright. So we know there's someone in here. Let's just kill him. There you are. Ouch. There we go. Using the shield. Good. If I could use it more often, or if I could even hit him, that'd be great. Alright, back down here. This place is so dark. Alright, there you are. Oh, you're the archer, of course. Naturally. Ah! No! Are you serious? Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Um, so I need to do that a little differently, um, maybe I need to use my dragon skin, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. What? I didn't want to do that, I wanted my torch. Oh, the sound effect. Alright. Let's, uh, again. Once again. Uh, let's see. Alright, there is a skeleton here. Is this the archer? It is the archer. Haha! -ha. Die, evil scum. He's still hitting me pretty good. Good grief. Archer's in this game, man. Ow, ow, ow. 
Are you serious? Not now. Not now, spell. Okay, not too much of a problem. Oh. Alright, let's kill this one. Not too bad. Okay. Good grief. Oh. Okay, let's uh, drink a potion. Health here. And uh, he had arrows, so very nice. Um, whoops. There we go. Okay. Not seeing any skill still. Let's see. In here, maybe? Let's actually do a quick save, because... Uh, we all know the game's going to crash sometime. When it does, is unknown. Alright, there's another one here. He's not an archer, so thank goodness for that. Alright, um... Oh, hello! There we go. Oh, is that a skull? Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> there we go! It's a skull! The skull of Leevul Le Le Andrano. And the Dagger of Judgment. Which we're gonna leave. Or take this, though. Alright! Let's be leaving then. We got what we wanted. Uh, I have no further need of being here, and nor do I want to, so. Yep, let's be on our way. Up here. I mean, I probably could train on the remaining creatures here, but you know what? I really don't, don't want to. So. Besides, they're actually meant to be here, um, to protect the tomb, I guess, made by the Dark Elves, so... I guess we don't want to kill too many, just what we really need to. Otherwise, we might make some people angry. So, uh, let's see what time of day it is when we leave. Okay, it's not... it's 12 p.m., so we should be able to, um... Catch the Silt Strider back to Balmora. And, uh, then we can, um, then we can turn in the quest. And give the, uh, lovely skull back to the, uh, orc, which I can't remember the name of. Hello. Alright. I wonder what's down this way. It's Ebonheart, isn't it? Yeah, Ebonheart's down that way. I'll have to visit there sometime. We also need to um, head to Nisus as well sometime. Actually, does this sign point out where Nisus is? Because... I, as a player, have absolutely no idea where it is, so I, I really don't. Um, let's see. Nope. No, it does not. Um, do I have it marked on my map? Uh, no, I do not. So, um, my guess is it's probably in this area. There isn't much. I know there isn't much around here, so I don't think it's going to be there. That's basically like Ashlander territory, I guess. Oh look, a chest. Actually, I think I've looted this chest in the past, but apparently more gold is here, so... Does it respawn, or...? No? Alright. I guess I haven't, then. There's the Silt Strider. Lovely bit of fog. I think that's just the, uh... I think that's a, uh, my view distance. I tried to change the view distance a little in uh, MGSO settings, 
but it doesn't seem to really change the view distance that much, um, if at all, really. So I have no idea if I've done that correctly at all. Probably have not. Oh, Nisus, I can actually travel there. This must be quite distant for it to be about well, more or 28, and it's almost 100, so... Hmm. You know, maybe we'll head to uh, Nisus after uh, after we stop back in Balmore. You can join the Imperial Legion right now. And, of course, only natural. Hey, look, we, we made it to Balmore. Yay! We totally didn't crash. That didn't happen. Alright, now that we're in Balmora, let's, uh, let's return to uh, Skull of Andrano back to uh, the Orc Mage. This game is 100% stable, and uh, I, I enjoy it a lot. This is the wrong guild. And uh, I'm probably going to have to get rid of this game and um, reinstall it, reinstall the mods, because this is... I, I really don't even think the resolution fixed it, to be quite honest with you. Um, I I thought it did at first, but um, I think that was just me hoping I fixed the issue. Alright, Sharn, Gra, Muzgob. Yes, I have the Aaron. Very good, I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect, for what I have in mind. Uh, thank you. Now as I promised, now as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nervarine cult. Go ahead. This Ashlander cult believes the long dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prof prophesized Nervarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practice by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for imperial or temple law. Here, take this copy of the notes on the topic for Caius. Alright, uh, let's, uh, let's see this copy of notes. The, oh. Wow. Okay. Well, that's definitely not working. <sighs> yep. Okay, so it's official. I'm going to have to reinstall this game. Because... Uh, this is not... <laughs> this is not supposed to be white right now. Um... Oh, god damn it. Alright. Uh, well, at least I can read it. That's that's always good. Uh, the following notes are from Sharn Grama's God to Caius Cassades. The Nerevarine cult. This Ashlander religious cult follows prophecies of a Nerevar reborn to honor ancient prom promises to the tribes, to reestablish uh, the traditions of the prophet Veloth, to cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, and to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders. Despite Imperial and Temple repression, because it is persecuted, it remains a secret cult, and it is hard to judge how widespread it is among the Ashlanders, or whether it has any following outside the Ashlander tribes. The Nerevarine The Ashlanders firmly believe the Nerevar will return to restore the glories of the ancient Resdane. The Morrowind has call, or was called Resdane before the Imperial occupation. The Ashlanders say the great houses and temple have abandoned the pure teaching of Prophet Veloth, forsaking ancestor worship for the false gods of the tribunal and embracing the comforts of civilization that corrupted the High Elves. The temple, on the other hand, venerates St. Nerevar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Like a ghoul. A ghoul. Uh, Nerevar. The temple honors Saint Nerevar as the greatest Dunmer general, first counselor, and companion of Vivek, Amalexia, and Sothasil, who united the Dunmer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer. The treacherous house Dagoth and their western allies at Red Mountain, but the Ashlanders say Nerevar promised to honor the ancient spirits and the tri tribal law, and that he will come again to honor the that promise to the Ashlanders. This means destroying the false temple and driving the imperial invaders from the land. Nerevarine Prophecies 
Dream visions and prophecies are a respected tradition in the Ashlander cult. Their wise women and shamans take careful notes of dreams and visions and pass on the tribe's legacies of visions or of vision and prophecy of their successors. By contrast, the temple and western faiths are suspicious of mysticism and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. Hmm. Well, that's interesting considering we had that dream not too long ago. I wonder if that has to do with it. Honestly, it probably does. Um, the most common version of the Nervine prophecy is the stranger. The verses are obscure, as are most prophecies, but two observations are in order. First, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journeyed far near neath moon and star is just a cliche to suggest a very long journey. But the Nerevar of legend was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star, upon which Nerevar is supposed to have sworn his promise to, ancient, uh, to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights. Second, the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prof prof prophetic verses known as the Ashlanders as the seven curses. The Stranger when earth is sundered and sky is choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest, the stranger's fate curses vain. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. Lost Prophecies Ashlander elders complain that of prophecies which have been lost to tribunal or tribal memory due to the careless, carelessness or ineptitude of earlier generations of wise women and Ashkan, Ashkans. Suspicions, uh, suspicious call, scholars wondered whether these pro prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nervarine prophecies, in particular, are said to have been lost. The, prof the lost prophecies, the seven curses, and the seven visions of the seven trials of the Incarnate. Perhaps these lost prophecies will someday be found, either in forgotten accounts, written by liter literate travelers, or in the memories of isolated Ashlanders, or in the secret tradition of the wise women and shamans. Well, okay then. Um, oh, we had silver arrows equipped it. I didn't realize that until just now. I will actually equip those then. Um, let's see. On Morrowind. How long is this book? So this is working. This is what this should have looked like. But it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously not a book, but I mean, the page should have looked like this color. So, something's broken. Lovely enough. Um, okay. Let's read this. Uh, After the conquest of Hammerfell, Imperial legions massed along the northeast borders of Cyrodiil and invasion fleets prepared in Skyrim. Initially, though, the Imperial legions and navy were mildly considered undefeatable. House Indoril and the Temple Hierarchy proposed to resist to death. Redron and Drez took by or stood by Indoril, with Telvanni remaining neutral. Halalu proposed accommodation. Contrived borders and incidents in Black Marsh ended inconclusively, but the swampy terrain did not favor lesion and navy coordination. Against the lesion masses massed west of the of Silgrod Tower and Croganmore, the, and the lesions west of Blacklight and Cromaris View, Morrowind had pitifully small militias stiffened by small companies of Redrun mercenaries and elite units of the House Nobles and temp Temple Ordinators and Armagers. Further complicating matters was the refusal of Indoril, Drez, Halalu, and Telvanni to garrison the western borders. Indoril, Drez, and Drez proposed, rather than def defend the western border, instead to withdraw to the interior and fight a guerrilla war. With Halalu advocating accommodation and Telvanni remaining neutral, Redoran therefore faced the prospect of standing alone against the Empire. The situation changed radically when Vivek appeared in person in Vivek City to announce that his negotiation of a treaty with Emperor Tiber Septim, recognizing Morrowind as a province of the Empire, but guaranteeing all rights of faith and self-government. A shock, 
A shock temple hierarchy, which apparently had not been consulted, gre greeted the announcement with an awkward silence. Indurel swore they would resist to death. The loyal support of Dr with the loyal support of Drez, while Redoran gratefully grateful for graceful excuse to avoid facing the legions unsupported, joined with Halalu in be welcoming the agreement. Tilvani, seeing which way the wind blew, joined the Halalu and Redoran in supporting the treaty. Nothing is known of the circumstances of personal meeting between Septum and Vivek, or where it took place, or the preliminaries which must have preceded the treaty. The public reason was to protect the identities of the agents involved. In the West, speculation has centered around the role of Zirian Arctus in brokering the agreement in the East. Rumors suggest that Vivek offered Numidium numidium to aid in the conquest of the ultima and somerset isle in return for significant uh con concessions to preserve self-rule house traditions and religious practices of marwan the lord high counselor of the grand council and indoril and indoril refused to accept the treaty and refused to step down he was assassinated and replaced by a ha by a halalu house halalu took the opportunity to settle some old Scores with the house in the rill, if I can read, and a number of local councils changed hands in bloody coups. More blood was shed in the inter house struggles than against the Imperial Legion during Marwin's transition from an independent nation to a province of the Empire. The generals of the Legion were dreaded and inv had dreaded an invasion into Marwin. The Dunmer were widely regarded as the most dreadful and fanatic foes, further inspired by the, their temple and clan traditions. The generals had not grasped the political weakness of Marwind, which Emperor Tiber Septum recognized and exploited. At the same time, given the tragic depopulation and destruction experienced by the other provinces conquered by Septum, and the shift in efficient assimilation of Marwind into the imperial legal systems and economy, with a relatively small impact on lower and upper classes of Marwind's citizens, the tribunal also deserves some credit for recognizing the hopelessness of Marwind's defense and the chance to gain important concession at the treaty table by being the first to offer peace. By contrast, many Indurel nobles chose to commit suicide rather than submit to the empire, with the result that house was significantly weakened during the t period of transition, guaranteeing that they would lose much of their influence and power to the house Halalu, whose influence and power was waxing with its enthusiastic accommodation with the empire. The temple hierarchy more skillfully managed their loss of face, remaining aloof uh, from political struggles and earning the good will of the people by concentrating their economic, educational, and spiritual welfare. Okay, interesting. So that was basically uh, the March on Morrow ended, how that turned out. Interesting. So I guess uh, House Inderil and House Dres didn't really like it too much. But you know, it's understandable. We kind of, uh, I mean, it is better to have a united empire, but, you know, me being a, a supporter of the empire myself, so, you know. Alright, so, I'm doing pretty good. I need to go hand this uh, notes to uh, Caius, and then I think we're going to head to Nisus uh, to join the Imperial Legion. And uh, after this episode, hopefully the next episode, my game will be much more stable because I am definitely um, deleting this copy of the game and uh, I'm going to be reinstalling it and reinstalling the mods. So let's hope for uh, better results with that, right? One can hope. All right, you shirtless man. Let's see your orders. And these are Sharn's notes from Never in Cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blades of Princess Astius. Now give me some time to think how this fits in the Emperor's plans for you. And I'd like to see to see you at a higher level of conditioning before I send you out again. So take some time to polish your skills and enhance your cover story with a little freelance adventuring. Then when you're at the level of performance I want to see, I'll have new orders for you. Alright, great. We will uh, do that then. That is the idea. What level am I anyway? Two. Level two. I'm only three away from being level three. Which 
is nice. He probably wants me like level four or five, to be honest. Which is alright. So we're going to go to uh, the Imperial Legion. And I guess we'll come back when we're like level five. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, th I don't know if you guys noticed that. If you didn't, scroll back. Um, but it looked like the uh, distant distant texture and the uh, Quickly, I guess render. the I rendered texture time. were colliding with the uh, silt strider there and it looked like I had four four uh, like tentacles or whatever you call them I'm not sure now let's do a quick save before we attempt to travel anywhere because uh, we know how that goes um, do I have anything to sell we still have this uh, I don't even think we're ever gonna do that to be honest fireblade um, Doldrum Scorch, Scorch. Where the hell did I get that? Where did I get that? I don't remember getting that. Scroll of Vitality. I think I remember getting that. I don't remember getting that. Um. What is this? Is this game breaking on me? Have I done something horribly wrong <laughs> with these mods? Oh gosh. Oh no, I hope not. Um Well, luckily if <laughs> if I have, I got many save files, so Yay. Let's uh let's hope I didn't fuck something up horribly. Cause um This game is not seeming itself. Alright, we're headed to Nisus. And, uh, you do not have it. What? Must be closer to, um... Must be closer to Sydney. Alright, let's travel... Not Alderun. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, 